right, so in our Google search page, let's type in M block. All right, and we're not going to take the first link. Instead, we're going to take the second one that shows up. It's almost the same place. Uh, both would work, but uh, I'm going to choose the second one. And we're going to do M block for PC because we're going to install this on a Windows 10 machine. And for consistency sake, we're going to use M block 3 because that's what we can also put on Chromebooks. So I see the Windows 7 and above, that's the one we want to download. And below it, I see the Chrome operating system for Chromebooks, but this one is the Windows 7. So I hit download. And I'm going to place this file on our desktop. And I'm going to hit save. And now we play a bit of a waiting game. You'll see it starts to load with the magic of editing. Mine is now ready and I'm ready to go to the next step. So mine in, um, is there on our desktop. I'm now going to double click on it to start the setup and installation. And I'm going to say OK for English. And I will accept the agreement. And I'm going to hit Next on all of these. And I do want to create um, a link on my desktop. So it's now going to install. And I've done a little editing. Mine is now complete. And here comes the program. It's there on my desktop. I now see it. And now I will launch the program. I hit Finish. And it's automatically going to launch, or I could double click the mBlock program. So here's our program. It looks very similar to the Chromebook one, a few little changes, but um, the, the block coding is the same. So we have a few options at the top, edit, OK, connect. Uh, it should uh, show me um, how to connect here. There it is, serial port. That's what we're looking for. Good. OK, making sure that uh, the board is the M bot board with the M core. And just taking a look, making sure that uh, all of these uh, are English. OK, so we're looking good. To connect, click on connect. And I'm going to go to the serial port. And my robot is not connected right now. So I only see COM1. So if I go back out, I plug in my robot. And then I go back to the serial port. Now you see that the connection is a COM3. I'm going to select COM3. It now says that the serial port is connected. Super. So we have a robot. It's now connected. And it's time to program. So if I click on robots, I can bring in my main MBOT program icon. And now the fun begins. So if I set up to move the motors forward, I can select a speed. Uh, 255 is the maximum speed. And here we'll, uh, let's see, maybe under uh, control, let's go forward, then we'll wait. And then uh, let's see, let's uh, set it to zero. And I can run the program by clicking up top here. Um, which means that uh, it's not going to upload into the Arduino until I hit this button, but I could still run the program to test. When I do want to upload, I say upload to Arduino, and I wait, and I'm going to do a little editing here. You know, the first time it's going to ask me for access, which is okay, say yes. And this is now where we wait. The first time I did this, it took over five minutes to run the initial program to, to upload. And um, and then after that, it was about two minutes and 10 seconds. So I'm going to do a little editing here. All right, so my program is now installed. And my program is running. I don't have a video for you to see that it's running, but it ran for one second. And so now let's, let's talk about maybe a little bit more advanced technique here so I can have the program run again. So I'm going to put in forever. I'm also going to go an if then statement. So I'm going to say if I press the onboard button. So I'm looking down here for the onboard button and I found it. So if the onboard button is pressed, then I'm going to run my program. Okay. 
And as soon as it runs the program, it'll wait for the button to be pressed again. So this is so you can get multiple uh, program to run under the same code. All right, so I uploaded to Arduino. Again, awaiting two minutes and 10 seconds or so. Uh, I did a little editing here. Mine is now done. And the program runs. I hit the onboard button. It runs again. I hit the button. It runs again. OK, so take a look at uh, how I coded that. It will probably be well worth your, your while. So to put the, um, the original program back on, I'm going to make sure I'm connected. And then down here, you can see how I can restore the MBOT original default program. And that's so that you can use the infrared remote and return it back to its original setting. There we go. Okay. And so now I can use my remote and make it turn. Thanks for watching.